of them, bit of colour there. Some really yellow, reds and greens and purples, lovely, I love stuff like that. Thank you Mrs H and I uh, hope that brings a bit of colour to your life. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunday Shave, how are you doing? You alright? You had a good week? Has it gone quick? Slow? If you're retired, I know you couldn't care, every day's the same, you don't use your watch anymore. And you watch people going to work and it's raining and bye. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Right, um, and long may you have a good retirement if you are. Um, right, new soap, new brush, and new blade. Blades I've never heard of, never mind, not tried. Um, so thank you to John Wasson for these. Very kind of you. He sent me a, a lot of hot sauces from the States, from Houston in Texas to be exact. Um, which I used uh, last night on my uh, Hot and Spicy on my other channel. Right, what are we using? Okay, soap. He sent this and the blades with the hot sauces. Wild West Shaving Company. Now, I'm not sure if I've used these before. The rings a bell, this name. Um, Alamo. Now, I don't recall using this particular scent, Alamo. Um, the Wild West, eh? <laughs> and the scent of this. Beautiful. It's yellow, uh, what are we? Scents of yellow rose, Spanish moss, blackcurrant, and bulk pepper. Now, I'm not sure if that's a spelling mistake there. <laughs> if you pause it, if it focuses on that, if you pause that, you'll see bulk. Could be black pepper, or there may be such a thing as bulk pepper, I don't know. But what I'm getting out of it is the rose is there first. There is a bit of the moss, sort of earthy scent, mixed for me with sort of a barber shoppy scent, the clean scent. So it's a nice combination, nice scent. And I'm going to use the Captain's Choice original. I've spread it, it looks a lot in there maybe, but I've spread some out in the bottom. It's like a crope. Um, razor, it's a vintage razor. Someone mentioned this in one of the comments. This is a Gillette Ball End Tech. And they, if you're watching, you asked. In the comments, what's the date of this razor? Now it doesn't give any date codes on this. It's a three-piece non-adjustable, um, just made in England by the Gillette company. And there it is, Gillette on the front, if you can see that. I've used it before. It's a standard uh, razor. I wanted to use a, one of my vintages, especially with this new blade. Now what blade are we using? So I don't know the date, I'm sorry, but they would have been made if you Google it or go on the websites of uh, Vintage Gillettes, um, there's many sites you can use. Uh, Razor Emporium, I think he's, he's got a good dating code for Gillettes. Um, it'll state, I think, the years these were made. Um, anyway, what are we using? Mm, give us a kiss. Kiss. <laughs> kiss blades. Um, five lames. So I presume that's a word for blades. Fabrication Kiss Franchise. Um, it doesn't state, well it just states here. Just bear with me. Brevets SG DGN, if that makes any sense. And pause that. So, uh, nice. Now the blade itself, I'll open this up so you can see it. It's sort of a blue tinge on that, I don't know if you can tell, it's a blue blade. That's all the gear on that. So I've never used them or heard of them before. There is overhang, so we'll see. Quite excited. They come in this sort of wax envelope, so very nice. Now a brush, I've owned this brush. It's a Razor Rock. Um, BC, Silver Tip, uh, Plissoft, Synthetic Shaving Brush, 24mm. That's what it is. Razor Rock. Um, synthetic, 24mm, uh, Plissoft, Synthetic, uh, BC, Silver Tip. And I bought it, you see that Razor Rock 400, the long orange one? 
Uh, some say it's yellow, but it's orange in real life. I don't know what it appears on here. Um, just a minute. That's yellow. But it should look orange now. <laughs> anyway, I bought this the same time as that, but I've never used it. And that's going to change today, so... It has been, I have rinsed it out um, when I first got it, but I've never used it. So, wet the face. Could use a pre-shave, but we're not. We're going to use the soap and see how good it is. That's lovely, okay. Here we go. And so far, oh, it's a nice scent. Now, there's a scent in this, and I don't mean this in a negative way. Reminds me, I don't know how old some people are, if they still have them today in school. But there was a sort of a standard soap we used to have in the bathroom, in the toilets in school. And uh, made by the local authorities or for them in mass, for all the schools I suppose. And this reminds me of that soap. There's a scent, something in there that reminds me of that school soap, hand soap. Look at this. Absolutely amazing for the lather. Look at that. That'll do us, I think. But the rope, oh, look at that peak there. <laughs> My, it always amazes me, these brushes feel so soft. And yet now, they seem to have a good backbone for, it's amazing. Wow, you can't argue with that, can you? But I'm getting the rose scent. A sort of earthy scent. I'm not getting blackcurrant or pepper. Me, personally. So rose and a sort of earthy scent. The school scent. And uh, a clean, sort of barbershop -y scent. Maybe that's the scent I can smell from school here. But like a plain barbershop. Very nice. So good to lather. Now right, let's get this blade. I'm excited about this warm this razor. So have you had any good shaves this week? Of course I hope the answer was yes to that. So here we go, the Gillette Ball and Tech with a kiss blade. Now, like uh, John said, he doesn't know how these shave because the, the pack of blades, he bought something on eBay and these were thrown in as an extra. So we'll see. Now, so far, it's... Uh, well, it's doing the job, but it's... Yeah, feels okay. There is a slight roughness to it. But yeah, it's not as smooth as some blades. Um, I don't know if they're very old, these or something or what. But uh, let's see how they get on. Excited to use a new blade. Now they do feel a bit rough, a bit tuggy. Um, so we'll carry on, see how it goes.
Maybe it needs uh, the edge taken off them. If there is one. <laughs> so. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so judging on this use, they wouldn't be my blade of choice. Um, I would use them if I had nothing else, really. So not very good. I'll use them on this first pass and then I'm going to change the blade. <sighs> Dangerous to carry on really but I'm just going to... Yeah. So thanks, John, um, for sending them. Very unique, different. I was quite excited actually to try them because of the blue blade, and you know I've never heard of them before. Maybe that's why. Maybe they made them, and people didn't buy them. I don't know. But for me personally, um, not a good blade on the first pass. A bit uh, rough and tuggy. So there's not a refined edge on that. Um, so it shows you how blades have come on. Um, I hope they're not a new blade that's out. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, thanks for sending it. Much appreciated. I know you've never tried them, so you're probably interested in how they performed, really. Um, I don't know if you've got a pack yourself, if you try them, or somebody else. Have you heard of them? Have you got a pack? Have you tried them? But um, that's coming out, so just bear with me. And I'm going to put... You remember that I brought this spare, just in case this happened. Um, the Rockwell Razor's Blade, so this will be the second use for this, I'll place that in. It's the same amount of overhang and it does feel slightly thinner, so this should be good. So that, that soap, to be fair, protected me through that shave. Let's see the slickness, oh it's lovely slickness. That's lovely. I like this scent. There's some, because uh, it reminds me of soaps gone by for me personally, so that I like that. And the rose scent. Like I said before, somebody, oh, somebody pointed out as well, I said about the rose. Oh, you can smell the rose. It's not rose as in flowers, it's rose wood. Not the same thing. Thank you very much. Now, after I've said that, if I can find that comment, I'm going to delete it. Um, right, here we go. This will be better now. Second pass across the growth. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, how can I put it? It's like getting out of a a Ford Mondeo, <laughs> don't make them, but they, how do they make them now? Anyway, a Ford Mondeo into a uh, Aston Martin, that type of feeling. Nothing wrong with Ford Mondeo, I own a Ford. Wow, what a difference. Yeah, so glad I've tried them, but... Uh, Not a good blade for me. They feel like um, 
I mean, I don't know how old they are. So they could be old, old blades not available now. They could have been blades that were made but never sold, maybe for that reason. Uh, I've no idea of their background, but they certainly weren't. Uh, And he said, I don't think there was much thought put into them, judging by the way they shave. Wow. Or the new modern D blades are come on leaps and bounds, which I think is probably true as well. Wow, that's nice. Nice scent. What I'm getting now in the, on the lather on the face is this school soapy scent, rose and barber shop type. It's beautiful. That's lovely, good slickness. Really nice. You can hear there's much more to go yet. As we head to the old third pass, I tell you what, we'll try this soap with a slight bit of water. Brush is performing lovely. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Are you up to much this weekend? If you're working, many thanks for your service. And uh, if you're not, I hope you're having a nice relaxing weekend, doing whatever you wish to be doing. And in good health to do it with family or whatever. As you know, we start the day. <laughs> hope you start the day with a shave. Um, I'll be doing the Sunday dinner, of course. We're having this week roast beef. Roast beef. Um, potatoes, sprouts, white cabbage, and lashentos of gravy. Thank you. And then when the beef's cold, the spare beef, there won't be a lot, but um, slice it for sandwiches and have some horseradish on it, on one, and then have uh, mustard on the other. Beautiful. And if I had piccalilli, which I haven't got at the moment, I'd have some of that as well. <laughs> Beautiful. We've had some uh, snow, first snow of the year, up in the, especially in the higher grounds. Um, I might, if I can, put a clip in, if it'll do it. So have a look at this. Look at that for a view. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice and quiet, only for my vehicle running there. It's all the Cluidian range. Start of it and it goes all the way down. I'll just come here now. Beautiful. Hear the shoot in the distance. Stunning. That's another nice shot. Gives you an idea of the landscape. And then the distance there, you see the sun. So that's the uh, snow.
It's nice to see it come in. It's nice to see it go in. It's more of a hindrance really, but uh, it looks nice. And to be fair, the ground, I think the, you know, the ground does need a good dosing of snow and frost. These farmers say, anyway, we need the frost and we need the uh, snow, really, for a bit. And of course they spread their muck into the ground this time of the year and ready for the spring and new growth and new life. That's lovely. The third pass. Well, third pass. What time is it? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. I wanted you to. Yeah. Right. Unless you just leave me to it. I don't mind, I don't mind. Right, pick up time. Nearly went for the fourth pass then. Oh, a bit windy out there. A bit gusty. Oh, I could use something. Oh, a job I did this last week, and it's something I hate doing. And that's Mrs. H's accounts. They've got to be done. So they've been done. I can relax now. I'll have a few beers today. <laughs> What's new there, eh? I must admit, though, I do drink a lot of water. I don't know if you ever do this, but... Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Good for your liver, good for your kidneys, well, good for your body, really. Uh, I have a pint glass of ice cold water and I put two slices of lemon in and two slices of lime and then drink drinkers and then just top, top up on top of those, both, you know, as many times as you want. And it's lovely. Oh, yeah, good slickness. Listen to this. Mm, a bit there. Beautiful, right. Rinse off. Absolutely beautiful. I really love yellow and red leather. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, there's the result. What are we using today? That's under my foot. What's this? Oh. My own witch hazel and tea tree. Really enjoying this. <laughs> Paul H. Witch, witch hazel. <laughs> Yeah, oh, nice. There's no sting or anything. Beautiful. 
Now with this scent, I thought it's got a slight barber shoppy. Anyway, I got a few aftershaves to use for that, but I thought I'd go back to this one. I've just not recently, not recently, recently bought and used. I like that Supermax Ocean Fresh. Somebody did ask in the comments again: Is it the same company as the soap or the blades? Uh, I should think it is, yeah. Um, because I don't think they'd be able to use the name if it wasn't. Could be wrong, but I suspect it will be. Oh, it's nice, that. But again, you see, don't expect these aftershaves to last, because they won't, sadly. But uh, you have to pay for that, don't you? You have to pay for that. Very nice. And then Arco Extra Sensitive, i am not use that for a while, Aftershave Balm. You don't need a lot. And this is a good finale to any shave. It'll always, the shaving will always well, not bring you, as I say, it will never make you good looking, but it'll make you feel damn good. And if you feel good in here, you'll shine outside. <laughs> and I don't mean shine. We'll quit while we're going ahead, right. So we've used the Wild West Shaving Company Alamo. Uh, very nice soap. What size is this? It's a, uh, if I can see, does it say? I may not say, not that you're bothered, but it's a smaller puck. Anyway, I can't see it on there if it is. Um, but very nice, easily lathers with a crope. Lovely scent for my personal nose. Rose. Um, sort of, yeah, mossy, earthy, uh, barber shoppy, school soapy scent. Really nice. Uh, I enjoyed it. We used this uh, Razor Rock BC Silver Tip Synthetic Pliss Soft 24ml it's a mouthful in it brush which I say bought the same time as that Razor Rock 400 but I've never used it. Really nice, really nice. Very soft to the touch but it has a good backbone enough to get a good lather which always amazes me with such a soft brush. Good, nice. Uh, Captain's Choice Original Bowl we tried these uh, KISS uh, blades, come like that, this blue blade, um, I mean it's quite, yeah it's not as, that's what it, I think this is what it is, um, it's quite a thicker blade, if I can show, if I got to, no I'm going to, but if I did that with a Rockwell, I would get a further bend than that, there's a lot of pressure doing that, shouldn't really do it between your fingers but, just to show you, so it's quite, it's a bit thicker than a normal blade we use, I think. So it makes it more rigid. And with rigidity, big word, comes, um, it can be quite tough and rugged. But I wouldn't use it again. Um, not for me, it wasn't a good blade for me. Uh, but thanks John for kindness sending it. We use the Gillette Ball and Tech. Always a good razor, that could tell some stories. Three piece, non adjustable, very nice. Mid aggression. Um, and then we swapped out, didn't we, from the second pass uh, to the end with a Rockwell blade. Perfect. Lovely blade. And then we, oh, I'm just jumping the gun. We used my own rinse off with water, my own witch hazel and tea tree. 200ml of witch hazel, 10 drops of tea tree oil I used. But as I said before, be careful with any oils or anything like that because they're very, very strong. It doesn't look a lot, but you must try fewer first to see how your skin is. Um, but that's perfect for me. Then we used Supermax Ocean Fresh Lovely Scent Aftershave. And then we used this Arco Extra Sensitive Balm. And that leaves you in good shape. Touch that. Soft as a brush. <laughs> Old basil brush. Thanks for the flowers. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the Sunday. And a good start to next week in good health, happy, positive if you can, 
and um, have some good shaves and then I'll see you on the midweek shave not sure what I'm going to use yet but uh, we'll think of something so thanks for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday take care